storage is operating alongside the existing diesel generators and the idea is that it will create a hybrid power station. Effectively, by integrating renewable energy and peak shaving, it will reduce the amount of diesel used and has the potential to extend the life of the existing generators. This approach will also reduce the amount of carbon. The batteries are comprised of two systems effectively, a system A and a system B. And in each system we have six strings of batteries and each string composes of 11 racks and inside each rack there's 24 1000 ampere hour cells. So the total we're looking at here is 3 megawatt hours of AC output power. These batteries have been chosen particularly for, um, for that ability to cycle. Although they are lead acid batteries, these are valve regulated lead acid batteries which are designed to be um, gas uh, recombining inside them. They don't need topping up and which other lead acid batteries traditionally need to, to happen with them. So they can be left looking after themselves and charging and discharging regularly without a lot of maintenance. These are designed rather than being used once or twice a year when there's a power uh, cut. Um, these will be used every day so that you'll have a full discharge and recharge on a daily basis to cover the variations in the, the peak demand from the, uh, uh, the, the mains. So this system on a daily basis of charging and discharge will do around 1500 cycles so we're talking between um, four to five years. The SMS system, the energy storage system, this has been fully commissioned now and it's been used to charge and discharge the batteries. We have a second component which is the BMS a battery management system that has been fully commissioned and there's a third compo component as well which is the remote communications from SSE and what the stage we're at now is we're now integrating the systems together so while we've commissioned the, the actual components themselves we're now doing the system integration and we'll probably be doing this for a while while we develop uh, we check and develop the, the software and everything that's in use now originally this room was completely different to this. It was a high building and it was specifically designed to dissipate heat. We've had to change it because we've had a few issues. One, that the type of battery selected by our client is lead acid and you want to maintain these more or less around the 20 degree mark. So we've had to create a room that was sealed that we could control the temperature and the climate in. We've also got a hydrogen detection system which is a separate system and if we detect hydrogen at a small level in this room we'll automatically start some large fans and we will evacuate all the air from this room within a matter of seconds. We've put a fire system in, it's a double fire system, very very sensitive, it'll actually detect fire in its first stages as things are starting to turn colour rather than before they create smoke or foam. We have two sensor systems, if one of them detects it, it'll only set off an alarm if the second system detects it, it'll actually release gas and it'll extinguish any fire that's in here. So this really is about as safe and as secure as it gets for a, for a battery room. It's been a good experience for us to, for the first time to be working with SNC and uh, certainly hope that we can work with them again more in the future. They uh, seem to be carving out a very uh, interesting niche in the uh, European uh, energy storage business. Mm -hmm.